This reel's the front runner. Mm -hmm. And basically, as you can see, it's more of a long range type carp reel with a bigger, wider yep. spool. Mm -hmm. The most important thing about it is that it's got a lot of cranking power. Mm -hmm. So the retrieve ratio is designed really for hauling in yep. big fish from range. Yep. And that's very good incidentally for spot and marker work as well. Mm -hmm. The big component here to look out for is this drag system at the front. So basically what happens is you set your fighting drag, mm -hmm. i.e. the drag that you want to fight the fish at. Yep. But if you want it in a semi-free spool mode, all you do, having set the drag, is move this lever around mm -hmm. and then you're on the free runner facility. Yep. When you get a run, the line's fizzing off, you pick up the rod and in one movement, you're straight back onto your fighting drag. Right. So it's a very convenient system. Yep. The spool's aluminium, mm -hmm. it's got a very good line capacity, yep. very nice line lay as you can see, a yep. wide open spool designed for distance casting. Mm -hmm. It's a multi-bearing reel, mm -hmm. so obviously it's got good guts. Yep. You'll notice on the spool, Kev, that you've got these holes drilled around the outside. I know they look nice, but the main thing is to save weight. And look at the line clip. It's very user friendly because it's got a little o-ring insert underneath the clip to stop it damaging the line that's a good selling point and then if we look at the handle the thing i like about the handle is it's not too big the problem with really wide handles is that the handle of the rod is bumping into the next reel on your setup and you have to widen everything out to accommodate them so i like these more compact handles the grip is nice this is concave here so your thumb fits very nicely into it and it provides a good sure grip when you're playing a big fish. Yep. Altogether, a very nice reel.